Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Brabus, how it came to our roads, the modified Mercedes-Benz. Okay, let's get into the history and into more details how it all began. Okay, it all started in 1977 when young Bodo Bashman angered his father by driving up to his Mercedes dealership in a brand new Porsche. This car was often parked next to the company of his father and his father was very displeased about this. He demanded that his son could only park there if he had a Mercedes-Benz. Bodo accepted this, but in the meantime, he was making plans to make that Mercedes-Benz as fast as his Porsche. At that time, Mercedes-Benz was known for comfort and luxury, and AMG wasn't a part of Mercedes-Benz yet, so this was a very hard challenge. Due to all kinds of modifications, he managed to make the Benz as fast as the Porsche and parked his ridiculously fast Mercedes-Benz W116 at his father's company. One day, a man came around who had a serious interest in that very cool Mercedes-Benz, which was parked at the dealership. The idea behind Brabus was born. Boro Boschman decided to establish a GmbH, a so-called partnership without responsibility. To establish this company, he needed a partner, which he found was Klaus Brackman, a friend of his he met at the university. The name Brabus was a simple collaboration of Brackman and Boschman. After the establishment of Brabus GmbH in 1977, Brackman was quickly fired from the company by Bushman who controlled the company. Boro only needed Klaus Brackman for the establishment of GmbH and Brackman totally understood this. Due to this Bushman could make his fantasy and creativity into reality. For this he could even use half of the space of his father's company property. Boro Bushman's first success with tuning was the Mercedes-Benz W1260 S-Class which was built between 1979 to 1991. In this period more and more customers were attracted who wanted to tuned this class. Due to this, Bodo could experiment with different models of Mercedes-Benz. The philosophy of the brand hasn't changed since that time neither has the quality. The quality of the tuning and safety are the most important features for Brabus. This is the achieved by a very precise finishing and functional tuning of the cars. The car which made Brabus become an international player in the tuning segment was the W210, the E-Class. By swapping the engine with the V12 with 582 horsepower and 772 of torque, Brabus created the fastest limousine in the world. The top speed was not limited to 250 but even 330 km per hour. This restriction was there because there was no good tires for this car, with the right ones it could go even faster. This car wasn't the only car with this problem. Nowadays some Brabuses still have the same problem. It was the combination of extreme speed, comfort and German quality which made Brabus stand out of all the other tuners. Brabus Benzes were becoming more and more advanced. The company debuted in the small 190 with the 276 horsepower V8 in 1984 and a W124 E-Class with a world record setting drug coefficient of 0 0.2.6 a year later. But the real breakthrough came in 1992 when Bodo's engineers started experimenting with the V12 engines. The first product of this relationship was the magnificent 6.9 liter 501 horsepower V12 that was installed in the W124 500E and in 1996 it evolved into a 574 horsepower 7.3 liter beast into the Brabus EV12 7.3 seconds, which with the top speed of 205 miles per second, rightfully gained the title of the world's fastest sedan. Arguably, it was the car that defined Brabus as we know it. In the early years, the most direct competition came from AMG. After AMG became part of the Mercedes-Benz, Brabus saw the chance to become a unique tuner. They described themselves as a solution for all wishes people can have all for their car. It wouldn't be the first time they built cars with integrated guitars, lockers, or initials of footballers in the head. Make a wish for your car and Brabus will make it come true. This makes Brabus unique from AMG which is restricted to the normal options list of Mercedes-Benz so you can hardly order a really unique AMG. All this is proved by the following anecdote. A customer of Brabus already owned several Ferraris and would like to have something different. After some research, he ordered a black Brabus with a full black interior. A few days after, the delivery of the car Brabus got a telephone call. The color didn't look good together with 
the red of the Ferrari is not as good as you hope. The car was sent back to Brabus where the car was painted and refinished again. Sometime later the man called Brabus again. He said the red of Brabus looked even better than the red of the Ferraris. This shows how flexible Brabus is with their customers and that they're only pleased when the customers are. Since the beginning Brabus has offered the possibility of an engine swap. Normally these engines are changed with the V12 engines for extreme performance. These V12 engines are tuned engines that come from Mercedes-Benz. Too bad that V12 lost its popularity so Brabus had to look for alternative to produce a lot of power with an existing engine. At the moment they are working hard on the new 5.5 liter V8 by turbo from AMG. In the near future we can expect new Brabus models with this engine. This is a good point because Brabus says that the possibility of the engine are almost endless. Brabus has already developed bigger turbos which will be included in the Brabus B6 kit. Currently the Brabus production facility is a huge complex of five factories that takes care of each part of the vehicle. You can almost think of Brabus as a car manufacturer but it's important to remember it still builds everything by hand. In the main workshop dozens of mechanics works around an eclectic mix of cars doing everything from simple ECU swaps to entire engine while others install custom build interiors and bodywork. There is so much variety in the cars being built. A quick survey reveals inconspicuous looking black sedans packing more power than the fastest Lamborghinis and McLarens mixed for the look at me projects from motor shows. Everything being painstakingly prepared before delivery to all corners of the planet. So there you are I have the story of Brabus, a company independent of Mercedes but still is advanced and proven itself equally capable. The one small tuner was relevant in the times where there were no other Mercedes tuners. And it's still just as relevant now that the tuning market is more competitive than ever. The facility is rivaling a car manufacturer and employing enough people to fill a football stadium aren't requirements to be a tuner. The desire and ability to build a factory quality components are. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We're gonna be moving out to next brands and covering all their specific details and history contents. Thank you. Have a great day.